This journey didn't begin yesterday. It began actually 11 years ago with the signing of the special agreement. But certainly since 2016 and the ratification in the Senate, you will appreciate that no lawsuit was brought then as to the unconstitutionality of what happened. And it's interesting that the chief advocate for the claimants here was actually in the Senate when the special agreement was ratified. But as well, um, since 11 months ago at least, we have all known what the date would be. And so if you're listening to the chants of PUP all the way, you will realize that eminently this matter which has been brought by the claimants is said by the defendants and their affiants to be a political matter and that they believe that that is something that the court should take into account, along with, of course, the timing of which this is coming. Jim? The argument of the jurisdiction of the court is being made because what we are actually saying is that when it comes to the issue of whether a treaty is lawful, legal, constitutional, unconstitutional, that that is not the remit of this court that the treaty in fact has been entered into, has been ratified, and that at this point, our argument is that there is nothing more for the court to do in respect of the treaty. And so that entire argument as to whether it's unconstitutional or not is not for this forum.